memorizing Exodus 20, 7 to 12, verse numbers. Exodus 20, 7. A royal blue seven is made into a piece of paper with God's name written at the top of the seven. Like when you're in school to illustrate, not take God's name in vain. The paper is drawn by the mouth because this is where we speak names. Exodus 27 Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Exodus 27 Exodus 27 You should see a royal blue seven made into a piece of paper with God's name on it beside the three mouth in red speaking God's name. Exodus 27 Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Exodus 27 Exodus 28 A royal blue eight is made by circling these two heads where we think and remember things, for remember the Sabbath day. Exodus 28 Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Exodus 28 Exodus 28 you should see a royal blue eight circling these heads to remember the Sabbath day. Exodus 28 Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Exodus 28 Exodus 29 The royal blue nine can be turned upside down to make a six for six days shalt thou labor. Another clue is that our arms and hands give us the power and might to do labor and work. So the top of the royal blue nine is made into a fist, and the bottom of the nine is made into an arm to portray labor and work. Exodus 29. Six days shalt thou labor, and do all thy work. Exodus 29 Exodus 29 You should see a royal blue nine turning upside down to make a six, and on the right side a royal blue nine made into a fist and an arm. Exodus 29 Six days shalt thou labor, and do all thy work. Exodus 29 Exodus 20:10. Verse 10 has four clues. First, the capital B makes a royal blue one on the side, and a royal blue zero for the top circle of the B. The second clue, emphasizing the seventh day, the bottom line, on the four also makes a royal blue one and the royal blue circle around the sun as the zero to say seventh day. The third clue is making a royal blue one on the not sign and a zero around the people doing work to indicate not do any work. The fourth clue is the stranger making the royal blue one within thy gates made into a zero around it. Exodus 20.10 But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger, that is within thy gates. Exodus 20.10
Exodus 20:10. You should see a royal blue one on the side of the B and a zero on the top of the B and a one on the seven with a zero on the sun for a ten and also a one on the not sign with a zero around them working for verse 10 and at the right the stranger made into a one and a zero around him for within thy gates. Exodus 20, 10. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Exodus 20, 10. Exodus 20, 11. Two royal blue ones are drawn on the top two sides of the four to make an 11. The six is in between the two ones of the 11 to portray for in six days. Another clue is the two sides of the four making an 11. And in between here is a hollow spot with hollow sounding like hello. And the last clue is the word hello has two L's that make an 11 shape. Exodus 20, 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Exodus 20, 11. Exodus 20, 11. You should see an 11 on the sides of the four with a six inside the 11. Also, another 11 on a 4 with a hollow spot in between and the L's making an 11. Exodus 20, 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Exodus 20:11 Exodus 20:12 To relate verse 12 with honoring your parents we have the example of Jacob who had 12 sons 10 did not honor him and 2 did but by the time the famine came and they went down to Egypt all 12 honored him they did everything their father said and more Another clue is the side of the arm coming down making a royal blue one for the L to denote the Lord and the side of the cloud making a royal blue two to symbolize thy God. Exodus 20:12 Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord Thy God giveth thee. Exodus 20:12. Exodus 20:12. You should see a 12 on the side of the father and mother to think of Jacob's 12 sons honoring him. On the right, you should see the one making the arm of the Lord and the cloud making the two of thy God. Exodus 20:12 Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Exodus 20:12 Terrific, you completed 7 to 12 verse perfect.